big deal for me because for the amount of times that I've said, yo, like, don't forget about me. Yo, where, like, what are y'all, what's happening? Look at me. Uh, I think this is a great moment for me to finally deliver on all of that and yeah. not come off as such a, um, a person who is all talk and, and you know what I'm saying? It has yeah. no substance. So it, it's really, really important. And I know that there's a lot of um, detractors who really think that I'm not a, a great first time challenger or I'm not even suited for it just yet. And there's a lot of people who also support me in the same vein. And I think it's great to have that type of, uh, you know, polar opposite of fanfare because it does help me out. And it does, uh, I think I work best under pressure. So to get in there with Max, who is our, our AEW champion, I'm going in there to not only win the title, but also prove a point. Um, prove a point of, hey, this is what I've been talking about all along. And for whatever, and if by some God reason or, or circumstance or whatever weird thing that happens, Happens and that's my last time ever contending for the AW championship. At least I can walk away knowing that I made my my mark. I proved myself more times than I have done in the past, and I can walk away, you know, leveled up. Regardless, actually, I'm going to ask that last. Two more questions, Ricky, and thank you so much for the time today. It's greatly appreciated. And you said something that really caught my attention, and. Why do you think people are down on you being the first challenger for Max? I think it's just, I think it's based off of the um, trajectory that I've had in the past months or so where, um, you know, the, the steam has kind of been let out of the bag, so to speak for me. And that is perfectly fine. We had a really busy um, few months here at AEW. I also think people just don't see me as that type of person yet uh, for whatever reason. And that is perfectly fine to me. I, I'm like, I'm okay with that. I only bring it up in this interview because I wanted to make a point of how I'm saying while I'm aware of it, I just use it as fuel for me when it comes to these things that I have in, you know, in the future, the, the, the AW title match moving beyond that and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I think a lot of people are accustomed to someone who has constantly been on a, a television show every single week, getting dominant wins left and right, you know, former champions, this and that. I think people are used to that and being like, well, that's a that's a worthy contender. Mm -hmm. I'm a guy who is coming off of a quote unquote injury and, you know, making my way through a tournament. And now I'm the one that can can contend for it so i'm not I'm a very self-aware person if you haven't noticed 